good morning. Welcome to Pray, Read, Pray. Today I will be reading day 114. And this consists of Psalms 43 through 45, Psalms 49, Psalms 84 and 85, and Psalm 87. So before I get into God's word, let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for the sun. We thank you for the sky. We thank you for breathing into us. We thank you for the word. We thank you for our Bible. We thank you for quietness, Lord God. We thank you for time. Lord, we thank you for all the discipline and self-control you have given us. Lord, we ask for continued self-control and discipline. Lord, I ask that you bless and keep each and every individual that chooses to read along with me on today. Lord, I love you and I, I just can't thank you enough for all the amazing things that you have done, is the one and, go, and will continue to do. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, y'all. I'm reading from the New Living Translations or NLT. I said translations with the S, sorry. Translation. And it's NLT. And this is the Inspired Faith, but it can be any Inspired Bible or any NLT Bible that would do. All right, so first up is Psalms 43. Declare me innocent, O God. Defend me against these ungodly people. Rescue me from these unjust liars. For you are God, my only safe haven. Why have you tossed me aside? Why must I wander around in grief, oppressed by my enemies? Send out your light and your truth. Let them guide me. Let them lead me to your holy mountain, to the place where you live. There I will go to the altar of God, to God, the source of all my joy. I will praise you with my heart. O oh God, my God, why am I discouraged? Why is my heart so sad? I will put my hope in God. I will praise him again, my Savior and my God. Thank you, Lord. Now we go on to Psalms 44. For the choir director, a psalm of the descendants of Korah. Oh God, we have heard it with our own ears. Our ancestors have told us of all you did in their day. In days long ago, you drove out the pagan nations by your power and gave all the land to our ancestors. You crushed their enemies and set our ancestors free. They did not conquer the land with their swords. It was not their own strong arm that gave them victory. It was your right hand and strong arm in the blinding light from your face that helped them. For you love them. You are my king and my God. You commanded victories of Israel. Only by your power can we push back our enemies. Only in your name can we trample our foes. I do not trust in my bow. I do not count on my sword to save me. You are the one who gives us victory over our enemies. You disgrace those who hate us. Oh God, we give glory to you all day long and constantly praise your name. But now you have tossed us aside in dishonor. You no longer lead our enemies to battle. You make us retreat from our enemies and allow those who hate us to plunder our land. You have butchered us like sheep and scattered us among the nations. You sold your precious people for a penance, making nothing on the sale. You let our neighbor mock us. We are an object of scorn and derision to those around us. You have made us the butt of their jokes. They shake their heads at us in scorn. We can't escape the constant humiliation. Shame is written across our face. All we hear are the taunts of our mockers. All we see are our vengeful enemies. All this has happened through, though we have not forgotten you. We have not violated your covenant. Our hearts have not deserted you. We have not strayed from your path. Yet you have crushed us in Jackal's desert home. You have covered us with darkness and death. If we have forgotten the name of our God or spread our hands in prayer to foreign gods, God would surely have known it. For he knows the secrets of every heart. But for your sake, we are killed every day. We are being slaughtered like sheep. Wake up, O Lord. Why do you sleep? 
Get up. Do not reject us forever. Why do you look the other way? Why do you ignore our suffering or oppression? We collapse in the, excuse me, in the dust. Lie face down in the dirt. Rise up. Help us. Rest us because of your unfailing love. All right, so that was 44. So now we have 45. For the choir director, a love song to be sung to the tune, Lilies, a psalm of the descendant of Korah. Beautiful words stir my heart. I will recite a lovely poem about the king. For my tongue is like the pen of a skinful poet. You are the most handsome of all. Gracious words stream from your lips. God himself has blessed you forever. Put on your sword, O mighty warrior. You are so glorious, so majestic. In your maj majesty, ride out to victory. Defend the truth, humility, and justice. Go forth to perform an awe-inspired deeds. Your arrows are sharp, piercing your enemies' hearts. The nations fall beneath your feet. Your throne, O oh God, endures forever and ever. You rule with a skeptic of justice. You, you love justice and hate evil. Therefore, a God... Your God has anointed you, pouring out the oil of joy on you before more than anyone else. Myrrh, aloes, and casea perfume your robes. In ivory palaces, the music of strings entertains you. King's daughters are among your noble women. At your right side stands the queen, wearing jewelry of finest gold from Ophir. Listen to me, O royal daughter. daughter. Take to heart what I say. Forget your people and your family far away. For your royal husband delights in your beauty. Honor him, for he is your Lord. The princess of Tyre, or Tyre will shower you with gifts. The wealthy will beg your favor. The bride, a princess, looks glorious in her golden gown. In her beautiful robe, she is led to the king, accompanied by her bridesmaid. What a joyful and enth enthusiastic possession as they enter the king's palace. Your sons will become kings like their father. You will make them rulers over many lands. I will bring honor to your name in every generation. Therefore, the nations will praise you forever and ever. All right, so that was 45. Now, let's go over. Now we have 49, and then we'll get out the 40s, and we'll go to, why we, I was going to mark the page, but. All right, Psalms 49, for the choir director, a psalm of the descendant of Korah. Listen to this, all you people. Pay attention to everyone in the world, high and low, rich and poor. Listen, for my words are wise, and my thoughts are filled with insight. I listened carefully to many proverbs and saw riddles with inspiration from my heart. Why should I fear when trouble comes, when enemies surround me? They trust in their wealth and boast of great riches, yet they cannot redeem themselves from death by paying a ransom to God. Redemption does not come so easily, for no one can ever pay enough to live forever and never see the grave. Those who are wise must finally die, just like the foolish and senseless leaving all their wealth behind. The grave is their eternal home where they will stay forever. They may name their estates after themselves, but their frame will not last. They will die just like animals. This is the fate of fools, though they are remembered as being wise. Like sheep, they are led to the grave, where death will be their shepherd. In the morning, the godly will rule over them. Their bodies will rot in the grave, far from their grand estate. But as for me, God will redeem my life. He will snatch me from the power of the grave. So don't be dismayed when the wicked grow rich and their homes become ever more splendid. For when they die, they take nothing with them. Their wealth will not follow them into the grave. In this life, they consider themselves fortunate and are applauded for their success. But they will die like all before them and never again see the light of day. People who boast of their wealth don't understand they will die just like animals. We know that to be true. Like there's people all over the world that request to burn their riches and their money with them. I don't know why that, is that even legal. That money could go to good use. But 
Yeah, I guess if it's there, it's theirs, right? I just wish things were a little different in that in that retrospect. Um, people get buried with expensive jewelry. I don't get it. I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. I just it is a very selfish thing because it can't go with you. And I know some religions believe that that's the opposite that these things do go with them. But oh my goodness, when they open their eyes on the other side. They in for a rude awakening. Hmm, what am I doing? Psalms 84. Excuse me for the sniffing and stuff and pausing. I just... Um, the weather change and I'm always affected. And my son is not doing too great either. All right. Psalms 84... And 85, and then Psalms 87. So, not too bad. Excuse me. Excuse me. Psalms 84. For the choir director, a psalm of the descendants of Korah to be accompanied by a string instrument. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of heaven's army! I long, yes, I faint with longing to enter the courts of the Lord. With my whole being, body, and soul, I will shout joyfully to the living God. Even a sparrow finds a home, and the swallow builds her nest and raises her young at a place near her altar. O Lord of heaven's army, my King and my God, what joy for those who live in your house, always singing your praise. What joy for those strength comes from the Lord. What joy for those whose strength comes from the Lord. Who have set their minds on a pilgrimage to Israel, to Jerusalem, sorry. When they walk through the valley of weeping, it will become a place of refreshing springs. The autumn rains will clothe it with blessing. They will continue to grow stronger, and each of them will appear before God in Jerusalem. O Lord God of heaven's armies, hear my prayer. Listen, O God of Jacob. O God, look with favor upon the king, our shield. Show favor to the one you have anointed. A single day in your courts is better than a thousand anywhere else. I would rather be a gatekeeper in the house of my God than live the good life in the homes of the wicked. For the Lord God is our sun and our shield. He gives us grace and glory. The Lord will withhold no good thing from those who do what is right. O Lord of heaven's armies, what joy for those who trust in you. All right, so that was the reading of 84 definitely a couple of verses that stood out to me um i definitely love this right here as a friendly reminder the lord will withhold no good thing from those who do what is right i think sometimes often especially when we're younger and we're immature in our faith that we forget that through being righteous and doing what is right good things come good things happen that should be understood but a part of Satan's gimmick and scheme in the world is to encourage and influence that you're missing something better, bigger, and greater out there. Well, that's not true. All good things are accessible to you through God with your obedience and your righteousness and you doing what you're supposed to do. Psalms 85. For the choir director, a psalm of the descendant of Korah. Lord, you poured out blessings on your land. You restored the fortunes of Israel. You forgave the guilt of your people. Yes, you cover all their sins. You held back your fury. You kept back your blazing anger. Now restore us again, O God of our salvation. Put aside your anger against us once more. Will you be angry with us always? Will you prolong your wrath to all generations? Won't you revive us again so your people can rejoice in you? Show us your unfailing love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. I listen carefully to what God the Lord is saying, for he speaks peace to his faithful people. But let them not return to their foolish ways. Surely his salvation is near to those who fear him. So our land will be filled with his glory. Unfailing love and truth have met together. Righteousness and peace have kissed. Truth springs up from the earth and righteousness smiles down from heaven. Yes, the Lord pours down his blessings. Our land will, excuse me, will 
yield its bountiful harvest. Fraction his goals as herald before him, preparing the way for his steps. All right, that was 85. And now we have 87. Make sure my page is still still up. A song of the descendant of Korah. On the holy mountain stands the city founded by the Lord. He loves the city of Jerusalem more than any other city in Israel. O city of God, what glorious things are said to you. I will count Egypt and Babylon among those who know me. Also Philistia and Tyre and even distant Ethiopia. They have all become citizens of Jerusalem. Regarding Jerusalem, it will be said, everyone enjoys the rights of citizenship there and the Most High will be personally blessed will personally bless the city. When the Lord registers the nations, he will say, they have all become citizens of Jerusalem. The people will play flutes and sing. The sources of my life springs from Jerusalem. All right, so that was Psalm 87. That was a short one. Well, all right, that was the reading for today. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already done so and to help mature the channel. Uh, stay tuned for day 115. Where we'll read first. Chronicles 3 through 4. And yes, we're in for more butchering of names. Like the names continue. I'm sick of names already. And I only read two chapters in Chronicles. But anywho, I thank God for being here and I thank God for getting through the first two chapters. So now it's time to get through these chapters. All right, y'all. Love you all. God bless. Take care. Bye.